The Garfield movie hits theaters this weekend. I actually saw this movie on Sunday and could have posted my review on Monday morning, but eh, that just seemed disrespectful. This video is brought to you by Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Dan for a special offer and stay tuned after the video for more info. Hello everybody, I'm Dan Merle and this is my review for the Garfield movie, one of the big Memorial Day releases and a contender for potential top 10 summer box office. The Garfield movie is from director Mark Dendel, whose two previous films are 2000's The Emperor's New Groove and 2005's Chicken Little for Disney. The script is from Paul A. Kaplan and Mark Torgove, writers on sitcoms including Raising Hope and George Lopez, and also David Reynolds, Oscar nominated for co-writing Finding Nemo and also a co-writer on The Emperor's New Groove. In other words, this is a creative team that is rooted much more in the older establishment than on the cutting edge, but you could argue that Garfield himself is very much part of the older establishment. Chris Pratt has been racking up voice roles over the years with Warner Brothers, Pixar, Illumination, and now Sony, and it's obvious that they wanted to move on from the decades-long Lorenzo Music, Bill Murray droll take on Garfield. Chris Pratt's voice in the movie is very... Chris Pratt. This is not his take on an established character. It's as if this was the first time that Garfield had been made into a movie. And let's be honest, for most of the kids watching this, this is the first time that they'll have seen Garfield in the movies and maybe even at all. Now, I don't think that Garfield has to always be portrayed the same way. I'm not a Garfield purist. I think my only issue with this is that the personality is really just Chris Pratt in a VO booth. I don't think that the performance has much flair other than, you know, Chris Pratt voice and his performances in the Lego movie and the Super Mario Brothers movie I think had a little bit more style if you will. Now the character of Garfield in this movie is still fundamentally Garfield but the film runs through those things in the first 10 minutes like it's a checklist. Lasagna check, hates spiders and Mondays check, has his owner John trapped in a one-way parasitic relationship that's slowly bleeding him dry financially and emotionally check but the majority of the Garfield movie is basically a heist movie. Garfield is reunited United with his father Vic, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, because, sure, to perform a milk heist for a devious cat named Jinx, voiced by Hannah Waddingham. What follows is 90 minutes of hijinks that are mostly diverting, but that could have been put into really any animated movie about any animated character. And then, timing it just right, we swing over as the train passes by and land on top of the car. Boom. Oh, huh? we can do this. <laughs> If you're looking for a movie that's going to keep your kids still and quiet for an hour and 40 minutes, then I think the Garfield movie is probably going to be what you're looking for. If you're looking for a movie that channels the inner spirit or character of Garfield, then I think that you're going to be disappointed. Although I really have a question as to how many people, how many of those Garfield purists that I spoke of are going to be showing up to the theater expecting the definitive take on the character. Because this is a modern animated film, the voice cast is full of other celebrities like Hannah Waddingham's Ted Lasso co-star Brett Goldstein as an enforcer dog, Harvey Guillen as Odie, although Odie doesn't speak, just makes dog noises, Ving Rhames as a disgruntled bull, yeah, you heard me, Nicholas Holt channeling some pretty good manic energy as John Arbuckle, and Snoop Dogg, and perhaps the biggest, we need a role for a famous person so he can do publicity role that I can think of in quite some time. Snoop Dogg plays a cat character, get it? Snoop Dogg is playing a cat. Anyway, the cat character doesn't actually even have a name, and it's in the movie for, I think, maybe two minutes. It's one scene, basically. What I'm saying here is that Snoop Dogg is cashing his check for this movie on the promotional tour, not for the voice work he did for the film. The Garfield movie didn't make my eyes glaze over like some kids' movies do, and I'd say that I chuckled maybe a dozen times, usually at some fairly clever visual and meta jokes. But this is a movie that is squarely targeted to and made to entertain the children in the audience. There's not a whole lot there for the adults that are also sitting there, and you know, that's okay. It's the reason why movies like this that are able to equally entertain adults and kids are so appreciated and so rare. Would it be nice if every animated kids movie was as accessible to all audiences as something like the Lego movie? Well, sure, but that's just not what the Garfield movie sets out to do. It's a patently unambitious ball of fluff that's designed solely to part parents from their money to take their kids to see it, and then part them from some more of their money to sell stuffed animals at Target afterward. 
Essentially, if the bar to clear here is Garfield flying through the air and screaming is funny, then the movie clears that bar easily. The voice cast is also game and seems committed to having a little bit of fun. No hard feelings though, right? Oh, I don't think so. I'm a hugger! Now, if this weren't a movie about an animated lasagna-loving cat, I might point out that I'm not entirely sure that the villain's plan makes sense, or I'm not quite sure how it all came together, especially at the beginning. But if your kid is saying that walking out of the theater, then you need to forward their resume or whatever to Spencer J. Gilbert, because you have a potential writer for the next generation of Honest Trailers on your hands. In the hierarchy of Chris Pratt animated voice roles, I'd say I enjoy the Garfield movie much less than the Lego movie, a lot less than Onward, somewhat less than the Lego movie too, and a little less than the Super Mario Brothers movie. Having said that, it's not the worst thing you could subject yourself to in service of showing your kids a fun afternoon, and so for those reasons, I'll put the Garfield movie on the upper side of its fine, perfectly disposable kids entertainment that at the very least isn't unpleasant for adults. So those are my thoughts on the Garfield movie, and you know what? If there's one thing that Garfield really appreciates, it's a good nap. And that's why I think he would be a big fan of my sponsor for this review, Miracle Made. This video is brought to you by Miracle Made. When you're cleaning the house, you always focus on the places that you know are the dirtiest. But did you know that traditional bed sheets can have more bacteria than a toilet seat? Well, since you can't unlearn that, you'll be happy to know that Miracle Made offers a whole line of self cleaning antibacterial bedding that prevents up to 99.7% of bacterial growth and requires up to three times less laundry. Miracle Made sheets aren't just self cleaning, they're also self cooling using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA to keep you at the perfect temperature. I have them on my bed right now, and I can tell you that I've been getting great sleep without overheating, which is usually a problem for me as the nights get warmer. Go to TryMiracleMade.com slash Dan to try Miracle Made sheets today, and whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code Dan at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Dan and use the code Dan to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash Dan to treat yourself. Thanks to Miracle Made for sponsoring this review, and thank you for watching. Be sure to stay tuned right here for more movie news, reviews, box office, and more. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.